If you're a OneNote beginner and want to learn how to organize your notes, this video is for you. When you start a brand new notebook in OneNote, it's a good idea to think about how you want to set up your notes. This planning will make it simpler to find your notes later on when you need them, saving you time and boosting productivity. You can arrange your notes in lots of different ways. Some common ways are to group your notes by projects, subjects, or chronologically in the order when things happen. Imagine you're a project manager working in a marketing agency. You have multiple ongoing projects with different clients, each requiring a unique set of tasks, documents, and communication. In this case, organizing notes by projects will make sense. If you're a student, however, it might make sense to organize your notes by subjects, like math, science, and history. But if you're a journalist covering various news stories that are date and time dependent, you might want to keep your notes, interview scripts, and research material organized chronologically for easy reference. I'll show you some implementation examples at the end, so be sure to stick around. Now, if you understand OneNote setup structure, it'll help you pick the best way to organize your notes. OneNote has three elements to help you organize your notes. Notebooks, sections, and pages. You can use each of these elements to group and organize your notes. Let's say you want to organize your notes by subjects. At the notebook level, it might look something like this, where you have a notebook for each subject. But if you want to have just a single notebook, you can assign a section for each subject. And if you want, you can even use page groups for each subject. As you can see, you have a few different options, and you can choose the one that works best for you. Okay, let's begin with the first layer, which is the notebook. A lot of people who use OneNote start with just one notebook, and that's totally okay. But as I mentioned, you can have more than one notebook at the same time, and it's easy to switch between them. You can also search through all of your notebooks and copy or move notes from one notebook to another without any trouble. To create a new notebook, click on File, and choose the location where you want to save your notebook. I'm going to choose my OneDrive. And you can name your notebook. And click on Create. And if you want, you can invite other people to share your notebook. For now, I'm going to say, not now. Now we have this new notebook created called Project A. The second layer of organization is the section. As you can see, a new section has been created for us by default called Section 1. Um, we can create additional sections by clicking on this plus sign. So let's create two more sections. And we can rename each section by right mouse clicking on them and clicking Rename. So let's rename all these three sections. We can also change the color of the section tabs by right mouse clicking and choosing section color. So I'll change this to green and we'll leave the blue as it is and the orange or the yellow as is. Okay. We also have the option to create what's called section groups. So if you have sections that belong together, uh, for example, I have marketing campaign and email marketing campaign. They belong together, so if I choose, I can create a section group, and the way you do that is by right mouse clicking on any of the two sections and choosing New Section Group, and I'll call this Marketing. Now what I can do is drag these sections into it, and I can go back and dragging this section. Now I have a tab for social strategy and a section group for marketing that if I click into it, I can see the two sections, email marketing campaign and marketing campaign. And I can hit this arrow to go level up. Now I also have the option, right now the sections are showing across the top here, but if you were to click on view, tabs layout, I have the option to show the sections as a vertical tab. 
if I do that, you'll notice that I have my notebook, my section, and my section groups. They're showing sort of across top to bottom on a left-hand column. This is a view that I prefer because it's easier for me to see the organization of the notebook and sections all together. And I can easily copy note pages or move them by just simply dragging them into the different sections. And again, go to View, Tab Layout. You can switch between horizontal tabs and vertical tab. The third and last layer of organization are the pages. So if I were to click on this social strategy section, I can create a new page by clicking on add page. And I can rename this page by just typing into the note header section here. I can create new pages by clicking on add page, add page, let's do a couple here. Um, so the second way to rename a page is if I were to right mouse click on the page and hitting rename. Now similar to how we grouped sections together, you can also group pages together. So let's say I have under meeting notes, let's create a new page uh, and actually drag it up. I'm just clicking with my mouse and dragging it up. I can indent this page to make it a sub page by clicking on the left mouse button and dragging it to the right. So as you can see, the note is being indented. Uh, the second way to do this, and let's do it with this one here, is using the shortcut key, shift, alt, right arrow. And of course we can rename these note pages as well. And what's nice about creating these subpages is that you can nest them under the main page and you can collapse them by clicking on this arrow. So you hide all of the details, uh, just a cleaner view if you have a lot of pages nested under. Now here are the implementation examples I promised to show earlier. This is an example of organizing notes by project. We have a separate notebook for each client, Walmart, Coca-Cola, and Nike. Within each client's notebook, we have a section for each project. For the Coca-Cola example, you might have sections like marketing campaign, social media strategy, and email marketing. Under each section, we have individual pages for meetings, to-do lists, notes, and documents specific to that project. For example, in the marketing campaign section, we can have pages titled meeting notes for campaign kickoff, task list campaign, and campaign report. And this is an example of organizing notes by subject. We have a separate notebook for each subject, psychology, math, and history. And within the psychology notebook, we have sections based on major subjects within psychology, like cognitive psychology, social psychology, and clinical psychology. Within each section, we can have pages for specific topics, chapters, or lectures. For example, within cognitive psychology, we can have pages titled Memory, Perception, and Problem Solving. And to further organize information within each topic, we can create subpages, as I showed you earlier. Uh, for instance, under the Memory page, we might create subpages for short-term memory, long-term memory, and memory disorders. On each page or subpage, we can add our lecture notes class summaries, research findings, and relevant resources. We can also attach documents or link to external sources. So I hope this video helps you understand how you can organize your notes in OneNote. 
If you want to learn more about OneNote, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out these videos next. Thanks. Thanks.